What's going on guys? Well, I'm sitting in front of Walmart, one of the many, one of the <laughs> billion Walmarts that there are, and uh, I'm doing a quick little vlog because uh, I had the worst, <laughs> the worst shopping experience I've ever had in my life. It's one of those things where, you know, they say when it rains it pours and it was friggin' drenched in there. One thing after another. Um, I went here to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Uh, I know that's my mistake. I am a total idiot. And I know a lot of people gonna say, well, this is why I don't go to Walmart. Well, first of all, you, everyone gets the emails, all the funky people that go to Walmart. And a lot of people go to Walmart just to people watch because there's some funky people in there. But I, I've actually joked around about this before because I'll be walking with someone in Walmart. And I'll go, oh, my God, look at that person. But I'm sure there's people walking past me doing the same thing looking at me. So, you know, what difference does it make? But there are some weird characters in there. Anyway, one bad thing after another. I've literally been in there for three and a half hours. I went in there to get about four things. It's packed in there. Just everything I need to do. There's a problem. Um, I go into one aisle and the floor is soaking wet. They don't have one of those wet signs up or whatever. So, like, I friggin' I look like Marv from Home Alone 2 when he's in the basement. And he slides to the grease. I must have slid like six feet because I was kind of rushing. Yeah, of course, that's my fault, but they should have the little sign there. So that's how I start out my venture with, uh, you know, straining my inner thighs, <laughs> sliding across the floor. Then some little kid pukes in the next aisle because I was looking in toys for my, my niece. I was looking in to get, you know, something. I never look in the toy section. I don't have kids. So anyway, I go in there. Some little kid pukes. I just missed it. Like literally almost had a matrix it, you know, to get out of the way. So that was a close call. So then I threw my back out trying to do that. <laughs> then I get to electronics and I want to get something from there. And I asked the person if it's in stock because the, there was a sticker there, but there was no item. So they used the gun. Obviously, it tells them what inventory is in the back, which the person didn't know. I don't know why they're working there. I know that. I don't work there. So they scanned it. They said, yeah, we have one in the back. I waited 30, 40 minutes for them to finally get They finally get it. It's the wrong thing. They bring me the wrong item. So I say, no, this is what it is. I'm being very patient. And so another 15 minutes, I get the right item. Then, <laughs> what else happened? Um, God. Oh, then I went to look at something. I grabbed one off. It was like a corner shelf. And I just grabbed it to look at it. It wasn't even something I was going to buy. I'm just like, oh, what's this? And the second I touch it, the thing must have been rigged to fall. Because the whole display fell. So then I spent 10 minutes picking the display up. Because I'm nice. I don't have to. I can make an employee do it. Then I needed a cart. So I walk over and there's this woman putting the games away in the electronics section. Putting um, uh, Xbox games away in the case. And I say, ma'am, there's a cart over there with uh, one football in it and another toy. I said, I'm assuming that's a store cart. Maybe you're putting stuff away. You know, can I have that cart if I put the items on the shelf? She goes, I don't care. I'm like, okay. <laughs> there's no reason to be snippy. So then there's that that happened, then what else happened? I get online, I'm forgetting a couple of things. It's literally one thing after another. It's, this would have been a great episode for a, some comedy show, it's ridiculous. Then I get online and the electronical item that I bought, I can't be specific because people who I'm getting these things for might be watching the video, that's why I'm being kind of vague. But it had one of those um, you know, cable locks on it, cable ties, the security thing. So. The woman who's at the register, who maybe at no fault of her own, had a ma a full beard. It was an old lady. She had a full, full on beard. I was very jealous. She grew facial hair much better than I did, or can. And anyway, I'm not even gonna name her name because <laughs> I don't want to embarrass her. But no attempt to even. I mean, I'm supposed. I don't know. I, anyway, moving on. Um. So the bearded lady is checking me out, and. She can't get the lock off, the cable lock. All right. So the guy behind me online is extremely impatient. Complete whack job. He, he pushes my cart over and squeezes by the cart to go around. I'm thinking, oh, he's given up. He didn't, he's not giving up. He walked over to my, my item that I'm purchasing and uh, decides he's going to try to pull it off the box himself. Doesn't even say anything. Not like, oh, can I help you? He just grabs my item and starts tugging on the thing, trying to push it over the corner. He's like denting the cardboard box. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, oh, you just pull it off. I said, first of all, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> Second of all, if you could pull it off, it would defeat the purpose. It's a security item. I said, you can't pull it off like this. That's why they have it on there. So people don't steal it. 
He goes, oh, that's a good point. I said, yeah, it's a good point. Get the back in line right now. I was going to curse. I'm trying not to be profane. But I did actually say, get the hell back in line. And he looked at me, and I, I had fear. I could tell there's fear in his eyes because at this point, I am livid. I, I just, I had it. Um, I never liked Walmart, but I admit some of the crap that's there, it's just cheap. It's convenient. That's why I use them occasionally. But this was the worst. This was the worst experience I've ever had here in my entire life. This particular Walmart where I am sucks. Um, I'm in Honesdale, Pennsylvania. If you guys know where that is or happen to live here, this particular one I don't like. The layout sucks. The stuff's always on the floors, everything. I did, however, find one nice thing, which I made a separate video on. I saw they had a, a power cord bracelet kit for girls. I didn't find a boys one, which, you know, I think they may have them for boys too, but anyway. Um... This sucked. Oh, and then my card was declined. I have a Walmart credit card, a Walmart store card, and um, it was declined because my zip code wasn't right. So that was another 20 minutes waiting there. She had to get a manager over, and then they called the hotline, and there was a glitch in their system. That's why I wasn't accepting my card. It, my Obviously, it was putting in the right zip code. I know where I live. I know my zip code, uh, but it was a glitch in the system, so they apologized for another 20 minutes of my time. Friggin' A, Walmart. I don't know why I keep punishing myself, because I will be back here at some point in my life. Not today, not tomorrow, probably not in another month or two. But I will come back, because I'm an idiot. I don't know why. Alright, I uh, have to come back, because I forgot to tell you the best part. But first, our sponsor, which is not actually a sponsor, the Home Depot, because it's awesome. I know, I use Lowe's too, but I try to use Home Depot, I do prefer it more. Um, except their wood usually sucks. I don't know why. It's always warped and naughty. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you the best part of it. I happen to be wearing my Glock sweatshirt. So, um, I had three separate individuals uh, approach me, knowing that I'm a gun person, or at least making the safe assumption I'm a gun person, being that I'm wearing a Glock sweatshirt. Uh, the first gentleman, super nice, really, really cool. Hey, I like your sweatshirt. I'm a Glock guy. Cool. Five-minute conversation. Totally fine. The other two people, however, I want to talk about briefly. Um, they were gun nuts. Now, let me make this very clear. I am very much pro-gun, obviously. Very much pro-Second Amendment. I'm pro our rights, uh, you know, to bear arms, the whole thing. Everything's cool. What people fail to talk about sometimes in our gun community is that there are extremists and there are gun nuts, which make the rest of us look really, really bad. These are people who are illogical. They make no sense. They babble on and on about things. Um, the one guy came up to me, didn't even say hi, nothing. Just came up to me. He's like, effing Obama and going on and on. And I'm like, whoa, back up because his breath was kicking. Besides that, I didn't really want to hear the stuff he was spewing out of his mouth anyway. I'm pro-gun, but these people, just like on the other side, there's extremists who are anti-gun that are not logical people. They make no sense. They're, they get very um, aggravated and frustrated, and they don't have good points in their arguments at all, or even their discussion. They just babble on about nothing. But there's also people on our side that do the same thing, and it's extreme, and it makes us look bad as a whole. It makes These are the type of people who go out and they do public shootings. These are the nut jobs who shouldn't be representing us, lawful, uh, you know, law-abiding, good citizens who happen to uh, like our rights, like guns, and want to protect our freedoms. So I had to deal with two of those individuals today, which was uh, unfortunate for me. But I will say, you know, wearing gun apparel like this, like this Glock shirt, um, it's asking to be approached if there are pro-gun people, whether they're extremists or not, as well as, and this only happened to me once, as well as anti-gun people. Only one time in my life, it wasn't a Glock shirt, I had a, I think a Remington hat on or something. No, it was my NRA hat. It's my NRA hat, which I rarely wear because it's a bad fit for my head. But um, I was wearing that once, and I was approached, and, and someone just went, again, didn't say hi or anything. This was, I think, sometime last year. Just went on talking about how horrible guns are in our country, and then, you know, it's the reason why we have violence in schools and everything else. I'm like, what the hell, dude? It's a hat on my head. I'm trying to shop. Please move on. But anyway, I, yeah, I had to um, add this in to my vlog because that was what was most aggravating. Um, not so much that someone's pro-gun, but because... They're stopping me from shopping um, because of their babble. And they were. They're extremists. All right? There are people who are pro-gun who are not going to help our cause. They're only going to hurt it.
because they don't know what they're talking about. They have um, very biased, racist, um, you know, opinions that just, it doesn't help our cause at all. It makes us all look like stupid idiots, and that's not the case. So one awesome person, thank you very much um, for approaching me. He happens to watch the videos online, too. He knows he doesn't, um, uh, you know, go online too much, but he said he has uh, been involved with the uh, gun community on YouTube, and he appreciates everything that I'm doing and everyone else who's posting videos and stuff, getting information out there. So that was very cool. Um, but the other two people, total whack jobs, completely out of their gourd. The one guy, he started on guns and went off into doomsday preppers and how he's, uh, he's hiding everything. I, I, I'm not kidding you. I swear to God in my life that he said, what you need to do is you need to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and you need to put them in PVC pipes and bury them in the ground for the apocalypse. So if you get really hungry, um, you can dig them up, but the enemy can't dig them up because they can't use metal detectors because it's PVC pipe. That's what kept me from my shopping today. Yep. So anyway, off to the Home Depot because I am buying squirrel traps. That is right, squirrel traps, because I have friggin' squirrels that are coming in the roof of my house. So I gotta get rid of them. And uh, I know the easy solution would be to shoot them. And yes, I agree. However, um, I can't discharge a firearm in my neighborhood. And even using a pellet gun, which I've done once and hit one squirrel, um, I didn't pop it enough to kill him. I just wanted to freak him out. But, uh, I can't, with the situation with the neighbors around, I can't responsibly go shooting around my house um, and not endanger my neighbors, pretty much. So, I have to trap them. So, that's it for now. <laughs> I'll keep you posted on the squirrel drama. But, uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Uh, feel my pain. I know you've all been in this situation once before. And, uh, and that's it. I will see you guys later. Have a good one.